This is London, an immigrant megacity where nearly 40% were born abroad. A city powered by migrant money and migrant workers. Since 2004, 1.4 million Eastern Europeans have come to live in this country. Racist attacks have spiked since the referendum. Two Polish men were assaulted by a gang of youths. One of the men was so severely beaten, he died two days later. So what's it like to be an economic migrant arriving today? I spent much of my childhood in the Balkans. But to enter this world, you have to go undercover. You were already from Ukraine? Ukraine. Ah. Only labor, you do labor. Brothers, three hours, I put for food, I put for food. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for entry points, like Victoria Coach Station. Stats say that thousands of migrants land here each week, but no one really knows. In the past five years, the number of street sleepers has doubled in London. A third of them are Eastern European. Yonu and Lucien have just arrived from Romania. Qu'est-ce que ça donne, Londres Ici, c'est très bien la ville, j'aime bien la ville, mais pour nous, c'est dur. C'est dur parce qu'on n'a pas de travail, on ne sait pas parler anglais, mais on fait la manche, on dort dans les rues. Quand on a l'argent comme ça pour vivre un peu, on part dans notre pays, à côté de notre famille. On cherche un endroit caché qui, qui on peut dormir, pas qu'il pleut sur nous et tout ça. Je te réveille ce matin, 6 heures, que tu ranges les cartons, tout ça. Pas qu'il y a la police qui, qui vient et qui me prend. Faut qu'on est propre, tout. So, a lot of people in England are very angry about immigrants. What do you say to them? Il y a beaucoup d'argent ici. Et la princesse qui est ici, la Elisabeth, comme elle s'appelle. Mmh. Il faut qu'ils aident tous les hommes qui dorment de la rue, il faut qu'ils les aident. Mmh. Qu'ils les donnent du travail, qu'ils les donnent des endroits pour dormir. Comment vas-tu trouver du travail Il faut d'abord que je... Il y a quelqu'un qui me disait que je trouve un appartement. Il faut que j'ai besoin d'adresse. Mais comment vas-tu faire la... avoir une adresse Mais moi, je sais pas ici. Il faut que je cherche quelqu'un qui peut nous aider. Mm. Tous les soirs, je me prie, je suis juste qui nous aide. De quoi tu rêves quand tu dors ici Que je, que je peux travailler, que je cherche travail. J'ai une maison, que j'ai ma famille, à côté de moi. Même ici, même en Roumanie, ça doit... Yonu and Lucien bounce from city to city. Only a friend, they say, can pull you out the cycle. Places are entry points, and so are people. I'm trying to move in fast forward through the lives of those who arrive. My next step, phone a friend. Hello? Matej is a Romanian interpreter. Maestre disponible? Our families knew each other in Romania. Hospitals, building sites, police stations. An interpreter is always there. Nobody gets the migrant city like them. To Elford. Matej knows an illegal labour exchange out at the edge of London. 
Here, migrants look for cash-in-hand work. A lot of people go through word-of-mouth connections. One way they do it is by going to the touting spots, which tend to mushroom around other hardware stores, where they sort of line up along the road, and the white van man builder comes and haggles for price for a day's work casually, no contract, cash in hand. With a hidden camera, we go and see how it works. Ready? Yeah. You're my friend. Yeah. I'm looking for work. Be with me. OK. Hold tight. Oui. I'm not character. Look. I'm character. As soon as we arrive, we see a recruiter haggling for cheap labour. Give him company. You want charge me? No. Yeah. OK. So you tell me how much it is you want to take and make it reasonable, then I will consider it. Because you haven't even seen the girl. So. OK, give me £60. Pounds, I'm telling you. No, 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 no. You're labour. I got two men, I got the sand, I got the mixer, medicine, only labor, you do labor. Labor, yes? Yeah, only labor. You give one to 20 pounds, I can't do that. No, because that one, two men work for about three hours. Brothers, three hours, I do for food, I do for food. Yeah, Health and safety, minimum wage, forget it. Fall off the scaffolds, you're on your own. No contract, you might never see the money. The lowest wage I ever saw here was one chicken and chips. So immigration, watch out, it's immigration. The guy in the black top is immigration. I think we attracted some suspicion. I think they thought we were from UK border agency, and then people sort of clammed up and slunk away. There's a conspiracy theory in this country that there are guys in Bucharest or in Warsaw who are jumping onto her. Euro lines and arriving here with these sort of yellow pages of our benefit system, totally knowing how to crack every different support mechanism that they can possibly get. And in fact, we're seeing people who have no or very fuzzy ideas of their rights, and guys who are willing to stand out all day when there's only a very slim chance of work. No way do these guys make enough money for their own rooms. So crooked landlords run DOS houses all over outer London. Illegal, overcrowded, and where we're going to sleep. Hello, bună seara. Am văzut anun am văzut anunțul pe net cu locul în cameră. Cam cât de curând sunt disponibile două locuri, că e pentru mine și un coleg. So we found when we were doing the secret filming earlier and I sort of fidget quite a lot and maybe that was giving the game away. But Matei does martial arts. I think he's going to be stiller. <laughs> well, <clears throat> maybe the wrestling, not so much the jiu-jitsu. The jiu-jitsu is on the floor, so there's not much standing up involved. <laughs> Horrible shirt. He sees you, actually. Fuck off. My Russian is better than my Romanian, so I'm posing as a Ukrainian looking for work with Matei, my Romanian mate. Salut, Matei. Salut, Salut. Arcadi, nu, nu fără română. Nu, nu e fără. Asta e liber? Asta și asta. 70 pe săptămână, ai zis, nu? Cu cât îți împărțim? 4. Și aici, de unul și aici, de unul. Ok. Dar vezi că nu ai lingerie, nu ai pierd, nu ai nimic. Trebuie să ne aducem noi. Și baia? Poți să stai acolo. Păi, la voi o să fie nasul, că stai seama, suntem așa de mulți, suntem acum 5, cu voi dai 7. Șapte în total. Mergem la cealaltă și ne hotărâm. Poporul în jos. Mersi. Pa. I'm pretty lucky with them. Checking out my shirt. That is fucking up. Breaking all the laws in the... ...on the safety mode. Yeah, it's only two rooms, isn't it? It's an illegal conversion. I'm really fucking tense. I can't relax. Like... You need to be more, like... Talk, talk in French, talk. There's nothing stopping you, like, get into character, get out of a fucking journalist. Like, oh, is there anybody next door? What the fuck does it interest you if there's somebody next door? 
Well, one of them actually told me this is prison here. This is Rahava. Rahava being uh, the toughest Bucharest prison. So, in effect, it's like we're going to Rahava. Ready to go crash? Yeah, let's go and crack a couple of beers and see what's on Romanian satellite TV. Little English, maybe better. Uh, Little English. Yeah. Little English, French. Yeah, no, English, English is good. Your broken English is best. Why just take camera? You want? Matei. Salut. Salut, salut, salut. Matei. Bacău. Bacău. Romania, Romania. Very good. Very good. Very good. Even small talk could blow our cover. Da, și cum e viața la Ilford? La Frumos, nu? Cam înghesuit. Da. Toată lumea pleacă la I'm Ukrainian, apparently. But now the Doss House landlord wants ID. His worry? I'm an illegal. Ukraine is very much not in the EU. His fear? Immigration could trap me to the house. Do you speak English? Le, 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 le. I want to make one picture with your ID. ID, okay? Yeah, it's pure. Hey. You understand me? Yes, yes. But give me the ID. Yes. 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 Oui. No. Deci, puteți să dați pe mea, dar... Picture, picture, ID. Nu, nu avem ID. Nu avem ID. ID. Document. Deci, eu am, eu am are pale mele, dar sunt în mașină. Deci, trebuie să le aduc. Tomorrow morning, ok. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, ok. Tomorrow morning, ok. We hardly slept. The vibe in the house? Desperate, sad. Come morning, we leave. Luton, another entry point. But for some migrants, it becomes a trap. London's sky-high rents are pushing the poorest out of the city. Many end up here. Soup kitchens feed hungry and homeless migrants who fall between the cracks. Almost everyone here is Romanian or Polish, like Radek. Radek got caught in the migrant trap. No legal address meant no benefits. And that meant when he had an accident, he ran out of money fast. Did you sleep here? Uh, yeah, two months. Wypadek w pracy, pośpiech przede wszystkim. 
tu, ganianie nas, Polaków, bo robią z nami co chcą pracodawcy. A ja pracując w Sport Direct, jak widziałem swoją menadżerkę, to mnie całego trząsło. Ja się bałem, panicznie się jej bałem. Język mi kołkiem stawał, nie mogłem wypowiedzieć słowa. Zresztą tam kobieta dziecko w talecie urodziła, więc co jeszcze można powiedzieć? Bo nie puścili jej do domu, bo się źle czuła. Więc dlaczego nas tak upokarzają, a na nas tak przewieszają? Nie rozumiem tego. Że nie my, my benefity bierzemy? Dlaczego mi nie dali tego benefitu? Mieszkam tu 6 lat, płaciłem normalnie podatki. Why do you think that so many English people hate immigrants? To na kogoś e, trzeba powiesić psy. I on ma to gdzieś, a że my wykonujemy najgorsze i najcięższe roboty. Are you scared after Brexit? Po części tak, bo są, e, nasilają się ataki na nas. This for this attack me, the racism. Who attacked you? Few uh, England people. Were you scared? Yeah, I was scared. How did you escape? I jumped out of the plane. I jumped out of the plane. And the Cossacks were there. They 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 were there. Tak, tak. Come back to Poland and England. That's it. No more situation. No. Nie chcę się więcej pokazać. Hate crime spiked around Brexit, with over 3,000 incidents reported across the UK. Stats mean little until you hear it from someone who's on the receiving end. Even Matei was yelled at for looking foreign. This is the old Labour club, now a squat for homeless migrants. This is it, you know, this is the Nadir, the bottom, game over. I think this is like rock bottom Britain. Squats often divide into English and Eastern European turf. This was the Polish zone. How long have you been living here? Too much. Is it safe? Nie, przejebane ładnie jest. Przyłożę jakieś skurwy syna angielskich kurwaj. So how long have you been in England? Oh, shit, you've read. This is Britain. Rotten, right in the centre of town. There's no system here. Matei had heard about a farm not too far from the city. There's good farms and bad farms. Some are legit, some are slave labour. But if you get lucky, it could be the way out the trap. Most farm workers, start of summer, stay till the end of summer, save most of the money they earn and send it home, take it home. Living in the country, there's nowhere to really go and spend your money. And you can work seven days a week, if you wish, as long as it's not raining. I know this side, I'm just on edge. It's just emotions, like we've been through some shit. I just need a minute. It's just get the camera back on and let's work because that's what we're here to do. All right, are you, sh are you sure? Yeah, we're gonna fucking do this. Like, we're not gonna right. change plans just because um, I'm a little bit tired and emotional. Could this be the promise? It seemed like everyone here could work and save for back home, or build a new life here. Hi. 
Is it hard to find a good farm? Yes. I had luck. Let's see. Do you think you need luck as a migrant to survive in Britain? Not only luck. You have to love to work. Let's see. I like what I do. I like the people where I work. I would like to stay here, of course. What's your plan? To come back in Romania. I have a little farm there. So what do you think of England? This is nice. Not all of England is uh, like here, yeah? I used to live in London for seven months and I didn't like to live there. I didn't come here to visit the Tower Bridge. I didn't come here to see the Big Bang. No, I come here to make money and that's it. Better anyway. <laughs> Better anyway. Some of the English people think the, all the Romanians are gypsies. But they, they are wrong. Thank you, that's fantastic. You're welcome. I felt a really good vibe. It was like very clear that people here you know, were saving, they were making it work, it was a kind of positive atmosphere. If you arrive with nothing and you don't have any money to get yourself on the ladder in any way, just how tough it is really surprised me. Every harvest, some 80,000 people come to work on British farms, mainly from Eastern Europe. And in the fields, over 65% are EU workers. All first world economies employ foreign workers. This is not uniquely British. Losing this workforce could threaten the whole food and farming industry which pumps some 108 billion pounds a year into the economy. There's a conspiracy theory that people come to Britain to live like kings on benefits. But from what I've seen and the people we've met, this seems far from the truth. All over the West, the populists are winning. It's a revolt against globalization and immigration. And these are the people who are going to suffer.